so I have another question. Uh, it is about, um, I hope you understand, acquired reflex. Mm -hmm. Reflex acquis. Acquired reflex. Okay. So, um, alors, what I mean is, uh, we, uh, the user, hein, we know that something can appear when uh, making one gesture, mm -hmm. in particular. Hein? It is what I mean by acquired reflex. Acquired reflex. Uh, and you don't talk about those type of re ref reflex. Do you think user could be afraid to try? Uh, I mean, afraid uh, that something wrong happened and no, you, no way <laughs> to go back, uh, mm -hmm. no control Z. <laughs> um, so d what, do you, um, what do you think about this, uh, what I called acquired reflex and uh, this sensation of to be afraid of trying? Mm. It's not for vehicle, it's not for the person who uh, listen to me. <laughs> it's for um, people who are not uh, very, um, who has reflex but are not uh, very um, um, comfortable mm. with uh, technology. Actually, we, I, I did ran into, ran into some participants when I, when I do the lab study. Because there, uh, I don't know if, or do you also use iPhone? There is a function called shake to undo. When you, when you oh, shake. I, I don't hear you very well. Oh. Could you repeat? Uh, I'm asking if you know there is a function which called shake to undo in I iOS mean. system. And uh, most of the people don't know that. That is not a widget. But I have asked some of the participants when, when they they always got um, panic when they delete some mm -hmm. mails that they don't want to delete, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they would love to know this kind of uh, gesture, but they only know when I show it to them in the in the in the demonstration. Mm -hmm. But normally, I think people will have um, a logic to find the other ways around, just that it took them much longer to do so. Okay. Thank you. Um, no, for now, I have no more questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. Next, uh, next questions uh, will be for uh, Good afternoon, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Nicole, thanks for the really nice defense and for the very well written uh, speech key text. I, I enjoyed reading it. Uh, as you might know, I've been working on feed forward and intelligibility a bit in yes. my career. So <laughs> I, I really like this topic. And I have to start with a confession. I personally don't like signifier little lines. <laughs> really reluctant. Now I'm, I'm focusing on feed forward. Um, I'm convinced that people need to be informed what the system will do before they will do it. So that's my general rule of thumb. I always I always use. Mm -hmm. It's a bit frightening to me to, to see that these technical led designs are becoming more and more popular. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I've been thinking hard about why this is. Why they're including this kind of design in in their design efforts. Um, so I, I was wondering whether you had a good idea why designers you know, choose for these type of designs. You already said, you know, I guess we're, we're heading towards a minimal design approach where you try to put a lot of functionality in a limited space, but removing all visibility completely is really surprising to me. And it starts when the designer decides to include those type of widgets. So do you have an idea beyond your thesis text why designers have come, why, why we have come to this situation where designers choose to hide away functionality? 
widget in items, in uh, views widget, and in systems widget. It, also, it always has a very uh, strict logic. For example, the, the views widget is always under the margin, and the, the systems widget is always on the top or at the, at the bottom, or right now the newest version is from the right upper right and the, the, the left upper right. I think with the, uh, I think users can develop, I think designers can develop, develop, develop more designs on the purpose of spatial memories, for example. Like certain widgets or certain controls that are hidden is okay, but you can always find them somewhere in the Pacific area on the screen. I think that would be a nice idea, but for for the moment nobody has really categorized this kind of places where to to put this kind of design, which is a pity. I, I, I love that answer because you're referring to that we need a consistency in the approach. Yes. It needs to be consistent. And even within one platform, like the iOS platform, hasn't been consistent at all. You know, the signify less designs what goes on behind, behind the screens is, is not very consistent. Triggered by your thesis, I've played around a bit, like, uh, I don't know if you can see it, this is the email, mm -hmm. and if you lines from left to right, uh -huh. you can see there are three functions appearing, but, but at one point, it just uh, provides more pixel space to one of the functions, and not the other ones. Mm -hmm. this, kind of, this kind of inconsistency might lead to more errors. Mm -hmm. And I like the, the way you try to handle it in the animation, giving hints of what is available on the hidden space. Um, but for these type of uh, interaction techniques where you know the functionality changes according how you interact with it, how would you suggest to to go to inform people about those type of things? Mm, how would I suggest users or designers to have in the trans uh, transition? Your, your animation gives like uh, uh, a single status, you know, where are things available. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't show how 
the interactions you do, how, how those influence also the, uh, the functionality that's going on behind the screens. For example, if I swipe a little bit to the right, I have one function. If I swipe a little bit further to the right, I get another function underneath my finger. So there's also some a dynamic aspect in the signifier less designs that makes it even more complex. Yes, like even when you when you in your mail view there are long swipe and short swipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, if I if I really in the future work I would like to categorize all these different things because when, when I when I when I had an idea on the on the research questions, it's really hard to identify each different designs. But just like I said with Nadine, there is also shape to undo. How can you categorize that? Because that is the you cannot match the gesture with the with the function. Yeah. And it's not sig signified at all. Mm. I think it will be better if somebody or me in the future who categorize all these kind of things in the smartphone and also in the in the in the computers. So what do you think about using um, sequential coordinates or sequential feed forward, where while you're interacting, mm -hmm. forward gets updated, and feed forward becomes feedback when you're interacting. Are you familiar with sequential performances? No. Give it the find it. It's like while you're interacting, the forum builds up and you get actually more information. It's a bit like the, the sliding gesture. While you're sliding, you see something happening, and if you're sliding further, you see more and more happening, so you get better informed while you're moving on. Yeah. 